After losing her father to the cold hands of death and her mother's shop raised by fire in the same year, 23-year-old Vera Onyejiaka was broken, devastated and depressed. When my dad died, I had to do something because everything was so rough. I just, had to, I just decided that, let me try barbing. So I went to it. I learned how to cut. It took me like a year to learn. My mom's shop also got burned, so I was just left. I was devastated. So that was it. I decided to learn how to cut. I chose Babin because I felt like it would really bring out the feminine side of me. It will help me understand life. And when I chose it, I understood it and I liked it. For all the hard times she faced, the only thing that didn't die in Vera was the zeal to pick up the pieces and move on. She simply went on to acquire a skill, but in a male-dominated vocation, barbing. People that cut, most barbers, they feel some kind of way, like, why is she doing this? I'm training a guy right now, not a girl. Basically, I can cut very well. I can trim beards very well. So It's male grooming, everything. But we do both the legs, hair, beard, dye hair, different things. Although Vera has sojourned as a barber for about four years now, the journey has been tough. Not because she lacks what it takes to be there, but the gender factor presents a critical choice for patrons. However, this challenge of acceptability by most male clients has not by any means slowed her down, especially as the ones who care to give her a try have stuck with her. She has a style of cutting. She has a way of doing it that, that prepared me to be here. So I think uh, she's one of the best I've ever met. I only buy into it if ladies can go into such business. It's okay with that. Giving her a trial gave me that conviction. I just came to her and told her to just give me something nice. Something that will look very good on me. Because I feel more relaxed. It's more like you asking someone to just, you just give yourself to someone, ask the person to do anything that will fit you, and she gives you the perfection. Despite the challenges Vera encounters as a female barber, which sometimes may affect her profit margin, she encourages young girls to take a skill in whatever vocation that will give them satisfaction, whether it be gender biased or not. There is a belief that there are certain sectors of uh, the economy that are male dominated. It is true. But who says women can get into it and do it well? Some will say what a man can do, a woman can do better. But no, what a man can do, a woman can do it too. Right here from Patapot, Karina Israel reported for Perspectives.